Thank you for checking out this unboxing video, and this video is for the BAM box. It's for the BAM box horror box, which is the very first one of its kind. They just announced it two months ago, I believe, uh, and this is the first one. It's September 1, um, so I'm excited for this one since it's the first, but I'm also very excited for the October one because they've already announced some of the properties that are going to be in that and what property the autograph is going to be from so on and so on. And October is a big month. And uh, right now we're recording in October. I'm really releasing the same day as I'm doing it. So we're in October. It's amazing. I would have done the unboxing for this yesterday when I got it, but oh, you can see the little bit my penny was right there. I'll put them out of sight. Um, I would have done it the unboxing yesterday when I got it, except I was at a horror convention. I was at Monster Mania Con in Hunt Valley, Maryland. And um, that was awesome. And if people want details on that maybe I can do a video about it and show like the autographs that I got stuff like that and tell some stories but we'll see uh, this video is about the unboxing though so let me go ahead and tear open this BAM box so one of the teasers that they kind of gave for this they sold the properties which I don't like to say it while I'm unboxing it because people don't want to know until they see the item but they did say that the autograph um, is from someone who doesn't really do autographs. So I have a suspicion. Well, okay. I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a suspicion on who it could be. I have hopes for who it could be based off the, the properties that were said. So I really hope it's this one, this one autograph. That would be uh, amazing, but we'll see. Um, oh, they put their, they put their thing on the top. Uh, looks pretty good. Lighting's not the best, but I'll lighten it up a little bit in post. It's a cool uh, design. And on the back, they have next month's franchises, which I'm not going to not gonna show. Obviously, I'll go over that later because I don't want to spoil anything in the box. Tissue paper for my cat. Two pieces, as she likes. All right, first item. There's... Feels like a wooden cross or something. It is a cross. <laughs> okay, I see. This is uh, it's for Fright Night. This was one of the properties that they said they were gonna do, and it's a wooden cross. As you can see, it says Fright Night. You can see it there. There you go. It says Fright Night right there, and it's got <clears throat> you know the rosary with the cross hanging and of course my cat's yelling right now um this is very similar to what damn i forget his name in it the the older fellow who was the actor who said he believed in vampires but didn't believe in vampires i guess this is supposed to be like what he had if you can see there's a little hole on the back for hanging on the wall um so you can put it up um not the best but a decent piece plus the wood is really rough um and you could get a splinter off from this, I believe. So that's, they sh it should be kind of sanded, I would think. But it's kind of rough. Uh, next item. <sighs> Got my hand on, oh, it's a patch. I'm not huge on patches, but they start doing patches a lot. Okay, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. Nice. So I've actually not seen this film before. Um, I didn't know anything about it. When they said that this was going to be one of the properties for the box, I was like, I ain't never heard of that before. Um, but there's so many horror films out there, so it, that's bound to happen. But since then, I've actually heard some people talk about it and be like, oh yeah, I've seen Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, and it's good. And So other people knew about it. I didn't know about it, but I'll check it out. But like I said, I don't really like Patch as much, but whatever. Next is the pin. You know I love the pins. So, oh, and this is a good pin. It's from Night of the Living Dead. I think they did a pin. I'm trying to take it out of the plastic. I think they did a pin kind of like this in the regular BAM box like a year or so ago. I might be wrong on that, but it's the a very iconic uh, little girl as a zombie from Night of the Living Dead. That's cool. That's a nice pin. I like that pin a lot. So I have a feeling that this uh, horror box is going to be a really good go-to for me for what I like the regular van box for, which is the pins and the artwork, uh, and sometimes the autographs. Um, 
I'll probably be more into the autographs in this box than the regular horror or uh, the regular BAM box just because <clears throat> I love horror stuff and that's what I'm like crazy into. So let's see, is this the art print or is the art print? Yep. Okay, so here's the art print signed by the artist who is James Bosema. Bosema. Oh, this is a really nice art print. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so anyone who hasn't seen the new It movie, you need to see it. Um, look at this sweet art print. It's the new It clown. Oh, and it actually in his face paint says It, you can see. Uh, and he's got like the red balloon popping through his his head. This is really nice. This <laughs> This is really, look at this. That's really nice. Once again, this is what I'm talking about. I exactly what I was saying. I want it for the pins and the art print already. Love this box just for that. I don't even need the other thing, the other two things, just for that. That is so cool. All right, and then the autograph I think is the last. Yep, the last thing in the box I believe. Yeah. So <clears throat> the piece of art that's on it is cool, but. Eh. I mean, it's an okay, it, it's an okay autograph. I, the problem is I had my hopes set on Tim Curry from the original It, because I know that he doesn't really do autographs or anything, so I set my bar kind of high for that, but um, it's not, obviously. It's from Donnie Darko, and um, it's James Duvall. He played uh, Frank the Bunny in Donnie Darko. So now that I got over my disappointment, this actually is pretty cool. Um... I like Donnie Darko a lot. It's really cool. And that character of Frank the Bunny was very iconic for the film. So this is really good for anyone who really likes it. I don't know if you can say that Donnie Darko is really horror. Frank the Bunny seems very horror-like. And the fact that um, it, it's set around Halloween, I believe. Hence, you know, the Frank the Bunny costume that, that appears in it. So it is kind of horror elements, but not really horror. But... That, that'll do like that makes sense they can do that that's fine um but yeah i mean look at the look at the print that they had it put on though like that's really nice it looks really good i mean there's an autograph right there and uh yeah signed by the guy who was frank the bunny james duvall which i think he was also in the original independence day as one of the kids of randy quaid's characters so if you didn't remember that mind blown right um I gotta say, this is a good box. Uh, it's it's not like crazy amazing, oh my god, it's phenomenal, but the autograph is nice. That's a good autograph. The pin is really nice, and the art print is the best thing in there. The art print is really, really, really nice. That is a kick-ass art print. I love that. The uh, patches, well, you know, I don't really care about patches, but if you like patches, that's a good patch if you are down with Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. And then the... Um, this prop prop replica from Fright Night is I could do without, honestly. Especially because I said, like, the wood's rough, man. Like, people can get splinters on this. It's really cheap. It's, uh, I'd almost rather you just not. But at any rate, thank you everyone for checking this out. Um, oh, actually, sorry, I gotta go over this. I got wrapped up in things. Um, oh, there was a limited edition pin. Uh, there were two limited edition pins you could get. I got the regular one. The other one you could get uh they made 250 of said they're coming to get you barbara which is just the quote from night of the living dead and then there was a one that was only 50 made and it's a picture of george a. romero which r.i.p george a. romero you can see the they're coming to get you barbara there the george a. romero which is really nice i wish i really could have gotten that but the odds of getting that pretty damn low and then the one that i did get which i don't have a problem with it's really nice it's cool uh, then they had, you know, the Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers patch. Um, it's a 1988 film. I guess it has, like, a bit of a cult following. I guess I better check it out. I need to get on that one. Then you had the Donnie Darko autograph, and there were just two versions of that. You could have had it signed in silver or signed in blue. You can't really see that so well on here, but trust me. Signed in silver or signed in blue. Mine's signed in silver. I guess the blue one is a little more special, whatever. 
Oh, the Fright Night, a little extra on that Fright Night. It glows in the dark. The rosary thing glows in the dark. That's actually a kind of cool feature. If you're going to make it like like that, like kind of like cheapy and everything, um, the glow in the dark aspect makes it a little bit better. That's kind of cool. Uh, the prints. Um, looks like there are two different versions of the prints. Uh, the regular one, which is what we got that was in color, and then they, had, they made 250 of grayscale. Which, you know, I don't know which one I, I prefer. I don't know which one is better, in my opinion. I think they're both really awesome in different ways, so I'm okay with not having gotten the special one. So, yeah, and they're having a contest for someone to wear uh, to win a signed 11 by 17 Exorcist print inscribed by Regan Linda Blair from The Exorcist. I don't know if you can see it, it's right here. Yeah, it might be kind of grainy. And then they have some stuff on there about Bandbox community and their one-up system and blah, 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 blah. And like I said, I'm not going to show you the back because it tells you the properties for October. Uh, I will be doing the unboxing for the regular Bandbox uh, for September, but it has been delayed, and they let us know it has been de delayed. So most likely I'm going to be doing three Bandbox unboxings in October. Oh, actually... I might not be around. Uh, it, the other, the the two that are supposed to be for October might not show up on the channel until early November because I will not be around at that point. So the boxes will probably be showing up and I won't be there to unbox them. But at any rate, um, we'll see what happens. And, oh, I should, oh, they haven't done anything all that special with the inside of the box, by the way. It's like the same as it's been for the regular band box, so maybe they'll come up with some new horror box, but since this is the first one, they don't have anything designed, but anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, um, this was a nice first horror box, and uh, I'm very excited to get more, very, very excited to get more, so thanks everyone for checking this out, and uh, until next time, keep it brutal.